You think getting the cuffs on you is bad, wait till they put you in the back of a patrol car, wait till they pull up here, wait till those doors start coming up, get inside, doors go down behind. That's when the factor starts hitting. In their final session, teens in the police academy toured the detention center in Irondale County. Oh, y'all listen up. You're, you're liable to see anything in here. After a lesson about the intake process and scanning inmates for weapons, the staff shows teens the old jail cells. They quickly learn there's no privacy. So what is this? Is this a shower? Shower. No, so you can take a shower right there. Yeah, everybody gets to see it. Everybody gets, everybody gets to watch. But the fact of the matter is it's not for everybody to watch. It's so that the officers walking by make sure you're okay. The jail has two-man cells, no TVs or weight benches, and there's no face-to-face -face visitation for inmates. Jail should be a deterrent. It's not a vacation. It's not a holiday. Jail is jail. Jail is somewhere people go because they can't conform to society. This tour served as an eye-opener for some teens. I learned that it's pretty miserable up here. And I felt bad for some of the people here, actually. Like, I saw people who missed their, like, moms and parents. And a lot of crazy people. Basically, you have absolutely no control anymore. Like, that privilege just taken away from you the moment you come. Students then head to the cafeteria where they learn it's a far cry from their mama's home cooked meal. This is supper. This is what they had for supper tonight, or dinner. I call it supper. This is it. You get a hot breakfast, a hot lunch, and this is supper. Next, they hear from inmates who we can't show. One woman tells students to listen to their parents and avoid trouble. Staff then demonstrates to students what happens with an unstable inmate. If you're trying to hurt yourself, you're trying to do something that's not, not cool, this might be the end result of you going in the restraint chair for a little while. Chief Deputy Burke Connolly says this academy awakens teens. This is critical to communicate and allow teens to come into this and have a hands-on approach to see what it's like, to see what it's like to put on a badge, carry a gun, work in a jail, to work at the front desk at the sheriff's office to learn what it's like to have to deal with the people. And some of the people we deal with are not the most polite people and the friendliest people. And it, it's very, very critical and it's very important. Students say this experience has changed their outlook on law enforcement. The internet makes them look very, very like bad and evil. And when I came here, I'm like, these people just want to help, you know? They don't get paid a lot. Like they, they're doing this because they want to. And so that, that really like opened my heart out and made me appreciate them a lot more. For Neighborhood TV, I'm Jessica Willis.